As we deal with all this messy weather for some of you today will be all about the sweet treats and what better way to start the morning of Fat Tuesday than with a delicious donut. Do you want to reach out and just touch them <laughs> over do, here? I do, I well, do. For decades, Hagley's Bakery in Mayfair has been making traditional foshnot. CBS News Philadelphia's Wakisha Bailey is live at the bakery this morning to tell us more about this tradition. Hey, Wakisha. Good morning, Jim Janelle. You know, it has been so busy here at Hagley's Bakery. We got here in the four o'clock hour, and this is really what it's been customers after customers coming in. And a lot of people are telling us it's really about tradition. And joining us this morning is Eli. You're one of the Hagley's. This is your yep. family's business. Yep. How are you doing this morning? Good. Pretty tired, but doing well. <laughs> now, you've been working hard since what, five yes. o'clock yesterday? I came in last night at five o'clock last night, yes. Wow. So, tell us a little bit about the holiday. Itself. So, Fosh Knot is tradition uh, that the beginning of the Lenten season, right, to, uh, to clean out your kitchen of all the, you know, the, <laughs> the good stuff, right? right? So, sugar, right? And uh, it would be lard, but we use heavy cream, okay? okay. So, to make the Fosh Knot donut, okay? Oh, my goodness. So, so and then, yummy. yes, and that's to prepare for the 40 days of fasting for okay. the Lent. So, do you have a favorite Fosh Knot? Oh, I like the cinnamon sugar. <laughs> Yes, it is good. Yes. Now, what we're seeing here is people, they're ordering by the dozens. This is common every year. Yep, every year for the last 94 years, yep. What do you think it is that keeps people coming back? Well, it is tradition, but, you know, we only make them, right, twice a year, right, on these, you know, Monday and Tuesday. So it is special. So, so now this is a family business. You guys are soon will be celebrating in another few years, 100 years yes. in business. And are you fifth generation? Fourth. Fourth generation. But fifth generation's right over there. Oh, my goodness. Can we point at the baby? That's fifth generation. Fifth I generation. think, Cheryl, can you hold her up? Oh, look at <laughs> Now, okay, Eli, this is all family right here, yeah. correct? Can you kind of introduce us to Everyone? Yeah, so Aunt Becky's over here, okay? <laughs> so and she's a Hegley, right? Okay. Karen is not a Hegley, but her family has been working here for generations. I okay? love it. Okay. That's my mom. Okay, okay, we know who mom is. And then over here is my oldest oh Amy first. So I got oh, Amy over here. That's my that's my brother's uh, wife. And then we gotta get to the brother with the hat on. Yes, that's my oldest brother, Josh. <laughs> okay, and Josh is in the picture as well over here. And you know what? But we can't go anywhere without Introducing all of these amazing customers. Look at we are surrounded, and you guys are here all the time. How many dozens did you order? We got two today. Two. Yes. Okay. Any variety? Is it powdered one cinnamon? Of one of each. One powdered, one cinnamon. That's our usual Lenten tradition, pre-Lenten tradition. Okay. Did you have any to go? Are you going to eat some on the way home, or uh, take them with us, <laughs> eat them at home, and then take them into work yes. too? Okay. And if I ask you, sir, how would you describe them? What do they taste like? Uh, they're. they're they're really, they're very soft. I think that's really what I like. Okay. Yeah, they're really delicious. Yeah. And how about you? They're amazing. They're amazing. Uh oh, wait a minute. How many do you have here? Oh God. Uh, three and a half dozen. Three and a half dozen. Yeah. For you? No, they're going to our works. Yeah. We're sharing. If they make them there. Okay, you guys. Hopefully, I can bring some back too. But I don't know. It's pretty busy in here. I'm sending it back to you in the studio. Well, they've got the infants working there. The child labor laws. I'm telling you, pumping out these fosh nuts. Oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. And talk about a local establishment that's been here for generations. So nice to see these local businesses so popular and thriving. Good stuff. Thank you, Wakisha. Yeah. We appreciate it. Can't wait for the ones that you bring back for us, Wakisha. <laughs> wink, wink.